All right, who of you here do not like easy recipes? Show of hands. I didn't think so. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Courtney Budson and this is What's For Din. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the most easy peasy lemon squeezy one pan red wine, chicken, and pasta. It is so stinking good. It takes no time at all. I mean, it takes a little time, but it's barely any time. <laughs> If you are a lover of all things wine, you are going to devour this dish. I'm telling you, this is a keeper. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and season up our chicken breast. So I'm just using boneless, skinless chicken breast that I cut in half. That way it doesn't take as much time to cook. So season that with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now we're gonna be cooking this in a Dutch oven pan and the reason that I'm using this ginormous pan is so that my pasta will fit in perfectly without me having to break it in half. I like long noodles. So just make sure you have a big enough pot. So in my pan over medium high heat, I'm melting down some butter and some olive oil together. And then once it's hot, I'm adding in my chicken breast to get a really nice golden brown color. I should have probably let those brown a little bit more, but I was really impatient and very hungry. So I was just like, you know what, whatever. <laughs> And then once they're cooked all the way through to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, you can go ahead and remove them from the pan and set those aside for now. So in the same pan, leaving all of those bits at the bottom, we're going to add in some chopped up onion. Now all of that stuff at the bottom, that is amazing flavor, pure flavor, okay? Don't mess with the flavor, just keep the flavor in the pan, okay? <laughs> so give that a good stir. You wanna have this over medium high heat. And I like to add just a little bit of cold water to it just to release all of that stuff off the bottom of the pan. You can see, look at that. It just, boom, released right off the bottom of the pan. So go ahead and cook those onions until they're nice and soft. And then add, of course, some garlic. We're just gonna cook that for a minute until fragrant. And then we are going to add, you guessed it, the red wine. Now I don't suggest at all to use sparkling wine. Don't use bubbly anything. Just use regular wine. You can use any red wine that you like. Just make sure it's something that you enjoy drinking because if you don't like to drink it, you're not gonna like the way this recipe tastes. So have fun with this, use whatever you want. And yes, we're using the entire bottle. <laughs> so don't you dare ask me what you can use to replace the wine because this recipe is all about the wine. And to that wine, we're also going to add some water. Now the water amount really depends on the consistency you like. You wanna bring this up to a boil. Now go ahead and add your pasta. As you can see, I really had to jam it in there, but eventually it worked out, whatever. <laughs> So cook your pasta according to package directions. And then once your timer goes off, if your pasta isn't cooked to your liking, add a little bit more water, give it a really good stir, and just turn the heat a little bit lower so that you don't burn the pasta to the bottom of the pan until it's cooked to the place that you like it. Then once your pasta is completely cooked, you can go ahead and add in some feta cheese that will just melt into this and create a saltiness that is just amazing, as well as some fresh basil, loads of fresh basil. You can chop up your chicken into slices, and that is it. Put your chicken on the side, your pasta, with a little extra fresh basil on top, as if there wasn't enough already, and you are ready to serve. Shut the front door. The flavor in this is unlike anything you've ever tasted. It's like pouring, it, it literally is pouring wine over pasta. So if you guys do wanna recreate this recipe, just look in the description box below. I'll have all the written instructions as well as the ingredients. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.